Hello, hello and welcome. This is going to be a little different today because instead of a live commentary, this is going to be a sort of post commentary because uh, on my own, I recorded a demo and you know, uh, recording a demo when no one else is around it has its advantages. I can be more relaxed, I guess. But you know, playing it while the people are watching is exciting too, don't get me wrong. But yes, I made a demo and now we're going to watch it. It's Plutocracy by Frank Frag. It's a WAD that I discovered on my streams, on my random uh, It Games uh, adventures. And it kinda kicked my ass. I kind of convinced the senior to play it as well, and he said that the map is kind of mediocre because it's too campy. Hmm, maybe he's right. Uh, anyway, the map took me 17 attempts uh, to do the demo. So yeah, let's get on with it. So at the beginning, it can go multiple ways. You can get lucky, you don't get hit at all, or you can like get hit very badly. So yeah, the, the idea is that you should go down here first, get rid of the lost souls, and maybe uh, lower the lift and kill the revenants. And as I said, I haven't said, but uh, I'm co I'm collected all the items as well. So yeah, I have to kill this Arachnotron and then go up there and grab the rocket launcher. And we should probably get rid of the imps over there that don't get hit by the enemies. Kill the enemies in there. There's a secret in here, but it's we're gonna access it later. Yeah, we better uh, get rid of the turrets, monster window dressing, if you will, because they will, can screw you over later. So yeah, go. Yeah, go up there. Let's hope they don't bite you from above. That's why you should try to kill them first. And yeah, that Mancubai is dead. Yeah, I don't know where that imp came from, but yeah. The Mancubai is dead. Mancubus, I, I should say. But yeah, sometimes he just... In case he's still alive, you should probably try to kill him. Yeah, get, rid of, get rid of that arch pile and uh, fire some rockets in, in there. And the home projectiles can go around this little wall in there. Be can go around behind it because the, there's like a void area behind it, so keep that in mind. Oh, uh, yeah.
Oh yeah, this secret. You have to uh, lower... When the left lift is lowered, this this lift that leads to the secret is lowered as well, so you have to time the lifts to get over there. Yeah, there's a berserk pack over there, so uh, I like to grab the berserk packs when I'm, I'm low on health, so that the health boost doesn't go to waste. have like a lower hitbox than the sprite this is where they can fit inside of these boxes And yeah, usually uh, when you lift, lower that lift, two of the guys are also, all two of the revenants are supposed to go down, but this time only one of them did. As for the blue armor, I prefer to grab that one when I'm like entering the ending area because uh, that ending area is pretty brutal. Great maze. And yeah, after it was the ending earlier that uh uh, that these medikits will not be accessible anymore, so keep that in mind. And yeah, 
the, the chain gunner lifts. Apparently this section is like heavily inspired by a section from a Plutonia level, which I think might be map 16 or something. One of the less popular Plutonia levels. I'm not a big fan of Plutonia, so don't ask me. And yeah, two art files. Yeah, sometimes you uh, one of the art files might not teleport, so you're gonna have to fight both of them on this ledge, which uh, might might make the thing hot. Oh yeah, when he gets stuck on a lift like that, you have an advantage. Over to open these bars, and yeah, this is like the gimmicky section. When you cross a line, the three pillars uh, will descend at once. So uh, be careful. By the way, if you go to that. Uh, little niche that's uh, to the left side of the BFG you, you're going to be likely going to be attacked by the enemies the homing projectiles so uh, don't do that but we need to get out first. So yeah, for this uh, part I suggest using the plasma rifle. Oh yeah. Now for the last uh, part of this room. Grab the BFG gun crazy. Yeah, that was a close shave. And yeah, this, uh, yeah, this switch is kind of bugged because uh, to use it properly, you need to enable like uh, the boom uh, feature that is like pass uh, through the line of switches pass through one another. So uh, yeah, in vanilla, one switch blocks the thing. However, you can still push it from the side, which is what I did here. And yeah, this is a bit of a booby trap. You can appro approach it from both sides as you can see, but I think it's uh, more dangerous from the other side as well. Not the one that I, pro I not the one that I approached. My approach was like safer. And yeah there's a <laughs> that was a secret in that wall. 
Now the thing, the ideal thing to do is to grab the Soul Sphere, grab the Mega Armor and, you know, screw these guys up. Because the final section is a bit brutal. playing it say a lot of my demo involves playing it say because I was pretty tense just survive them out Sniper imps, and yet yeah, shoot some rockets at that clump of revenants. in that pool of water, so grab them. And yeah, here it comes. And yeah, that if you could see that that ultra placement on that hell is pretty evil. And yeah, there's a uh, cyber demon among these guys. Well, it might be you know viable, or, and it would make sense to use the arch for, uh, to, to use the. Cyber demon to uh, you know in fight with the enemies so he can just get rid of the crowds of the hell nobles. I personally believe it's better to kill the cyber demon as soon as possible because he he's uh, the most dangerous in the guy in this situation. So yeah, once the cyber demon is dead. This whole area becomes significantly easier. Oh, oi, oi, oi. Yeah, that arch placement is still nasty. Yeah, those cuckoos and spawning. One thing about the arch attack is that the f flame blinds you, you can see what's in front of you, but Freedom actually, you know, changes the sprite to something else so you can actually see what's happening. And yeah, he died but I didn't hear like any death sound from him. So.
And yeah, we've almost won. All the enemies are gone. So the secrets. But yeah, we have to grab the secret and actually exit, so go up this lift and on the hill is a switch. And a lot of like helmets. Lower the bars. And when you approach the secret, the teleporter with like the last two items will appear and when you Oh, uh, I probably still can go back if you missed anything, but I didn't, so yeah. Just showed on the 20 minutes, so yeah, I did it. And I decided to end it. I decided to end the demo in a funny way. I guess some kind of re release of frustration thing. Whatever you wanna call it. So yeah, that was Plutarchy by Frank Frag. I noticed that there's like no demos for this wad. For some reason. As for the wad itself, I think it's alright. It's definitely a something a, a Plutonia-esque experience. At first you don't know what where to go or like what's the best approach to the level, so uh, you get get pretty frustrated and pretty pretty much uh, the map becomes uh, seems a lot harder than it actually is but once you figure it out it's uh, it's it's all right i guess the author itself describes this as a medium map for plutonia and yes in case you haven't noticed it's on the slot map slot of map 28 i don't actually know why Maybe it was a part of a community project but was rejected. And the Map 28 slot was picked up because of the skybox. Well, who knows. Anyway, that's all for me for today. I'm gonna upload this thing to YouTube and upload this thing to the TSDA archive. Bye bye.